Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to export the Unreal Engine 5.1 animation sequence and import into Character Creator 4.2 and iClone 4.2, make the animation sequence to become an iClone motion file. We also name it as the RL motions. The extension is RL motions. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, as demo, I'm going to just create a fresh new game project in my Unreal Engine 5.1. This is the Unreal Editor 5.1. Now it is loading, just wait for a while. As demo, I'm going to create a fresh new game project, a third person game project. The project name is my project 4. Now you can see the Unreal Engine 5.1 is already loaded the project file. This is a third person template. If you play, this is the Unreal Engine 5 Mana Queen. Right now, we are going to find some avatar and also the animation sequence. Right, first, you have to go to the window. Just to call out a content browser, this is the content browser. And then I go to the character. As demo, I'm going to use the default character, the mana queens. The mana queens here. First, I will just go to the meshes to find out the skeleton mesh. For example, if I want to have this, the SKM queen simple. And then, <coughs> how about its animation sequence? It is lying at here, under the animations folder. The queen. Now, this is one of the animation sequence. And another one, run forward. So first we can just export the animation sequence. As demo, I will just create a folder. Name this as from UE. So let's say if I right click the run forwards or right click the walk forwards, then asset actions export. Export as FBX file in this folder. The file name mf walk forward. Then click export. You can see the FBX versions. Just maintain it as 2013. Don't change this. So export. So this is the animation sequence. What about if we directly drop it into the character creator 4? Drag and drop. Import the FBX character. Non-standard, if we apply here, choose the Unreal Base character, click OK. This is just, just the animation sequence, it doesn't have any of the mesh. So even if you successfully converted it to become become a non-standard avatar, it is not going to show any mesh here. Now you can see this is just a skeleton. But what about the motions? The motion is not there. 
Next, we have to, to drag in again the MF walk forwards. Just drag in. Drag and drop. It doesn't import the motion. So we need to try another method. We cannot direct use the, the animation sequence exported FBX. So in your Unreal Engine 5, 5.1, you need to find out the skeletal mesh. The skeletal mesh of the mannequin is at here. Under the mannequin meshes, we need to have this SKM queen or any of the avatar as a medium. So now, just export it here. Right click. Asset action exports as FBX. SKM Queen Simple. Save it. Save in the same folder. SKM Queen Simple. This is really a skeletal mesh. This is not an animation sequence. So by using the skeletal mesh, we try again in Character Creator 4. Just create a fresh new game. Sorry. Create a fresh new project. We don't want this empty skeletons. We don't save this. So first drag in the SKM Queen Simple. Make it as an avatar. The humanoid apply. This is the Unreal Base character. Click OK. So now, if you already have a mesh, then you drag in drag in this skeleton, sorry, drag in this animation sequence this is the FBX that contain the, the animations. Drag and drop into this avatar. Then it is going to show you the motion import setting. This is the correct way. The main profile, it must be the same, the Unreal base character. Or you choose the, if you choose the current character, maybe it doesn't work. We can try because this is already in T-Pose. This is not the original pose. So, most probably, if you choose the current character, it is going to fail. You, you can try, convert all. But so far, everything is okay. All right. So the current the current character setting is okay. The current character selections. So let us try again. If we choose the SKM Queen Simple to drag in again. To just create a fresh new humanoid avatar, apply Unreal Base character, click OK. So now we drag in again the animation sequence, the motion. If for this time we don't choose the current character, we choose the Unreal Base character, it should be OK, convert all. Yes, it is here already. Alright, so both it work. If you drag in, you can choose the current character. You can choose the, the Unreal character as well. So next we are going to, to just save it as RL motions. But where to find the RL motions? You have to, to make sure you go to the window, workplace, advanced. By default, it maybe is at the standard there. You should be able to see this. Go to the window, workplace, advance. Then, under the motions, you can see the perform. Then, go to the perform list editor. It already show you the path. It is at C, user public document, resolutions. This is the path. So now I copy this until here. This is the file name, we don't copy this. Just right click to copy, then open the file explorer, right click the file explorer, click here, control V to paste and press enter. Now you can see the RL motion is at here, the RL motions. So we can use this RL motion in iClone 8 as well, we can just try it. In iClone 8, this is a fresh new project. I go to add an actor, the character. Let's say if I choose the party F0001,
Next, we try to apply the RL motion just now. The MF walk forward, just drag and drop the RL motion. This is the motion file if you try to play. Now you can see it really worked. But now you can see it bent a little bit just because of the original avatar. The original avatar at here it bent a little bit like this. So we may fix from the beginning. Just fix the skeletons before we import the animation sequence. So let us try again. Right now, this one, drag in. Choose the Andrea base character, just to, to convert all, just to re-import everything. Wait, drag and drop character, apply. Choose the Unreal base character. Click OK. Now you can see it bent to behind. That's why in this motion it bent bent forward. So we we should fix the skeleton here. Just go to the characterization again. Just to make sure we fix the pose. This one you off. Don't let it active. Then we bend a little bit like this. The body should be this part. To make sure it is at the correct posture. Alright. If you feel satisfied already, then activate again. Then try again, import the <coughs> import the animation sequence, the MF walk forward, drag and drop. Wait. This one you should cancel first to make sure you exit the characterizations. Then drag and drop. Here choose current character. Click convert all. And for this time, just go and find out the motion again. It should be at the same folder. Wait. Under the motion, perform perform list editor. So we copy this. Control C to copy. Back to the explorer. Right click file explorer. Is it here? Now you have another another RL motion. Just try it. This one cannot. Not this. Be this walk forward. Now you can see the posture is better. Now everything is at the correct angle. Everything already fixed. So in this tutorial, I already successfully show you how to export the animation sequence from the avatars in Unreal Engine 5.1. First, you export the skeleton mesh and make it become an I avatar, a non-standard avatar. Next. You have to drag in the FBX and choose the current character. Then you should be able to find you should be able to, to find the perform this editor, the directory, and the RL motion will automatic save at there. You can direct apply it in any other icon avatar or any of the CC avatar. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorials, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorials or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. 
See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing. See you.